So a few days ago we were meditating on Vrinda Devi who is making all the pastime arrangements for Radha and Krishna. Just as Krishna is the origin of, of many forms, Srimata Radharani Rani is also the origin of many forms, is Krishna's counterpart. So Vrinda Devi is also a manifestation of uh, of Rindu, of, of Here in this temple we find Vrinda Devi on the altar and we also find deities of Radha and Govinda which are Pratibhu deities because when when the deities of Radha and Govinda were leaving Vrindavan it was such a momentous thing in the Chaitanya Charitamrita that, that temple of Radha Govinda was described by Srila Krishna Kaviraj Goswami as a temple with thousands of devotees who would daily daily assemble there to hear to hear the pastimes of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu from Chaitanya Bhagavad from Vrindavan Das Thakur and it said that these devotees were most exalted. Also the Pujaris were described as very great devotees. So the deities of Radha and Govinda, they were so much in the center of the worship of the Goswamis. Basically, these deities, they were right at the heart of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's movement. And as such, um, when Radha Govinda left, as they were leaving Vrindavan, we saw that in Radha Kund, there were Pratibhu deities. Because the devotees, they were experiencing too much separation just at the idea that Radha and Govinda were leaving. And Radha and Govinda, therefore, when they passed through Radha Kund, they made, um, they made, Pratibhu deities, deities that were like expansion of the original deity and, and in that way so that they could continue to worship Radha Govinda in Vraj, that Radha Govinda could stay. Uh, then here, now we are on the edge of the Dham, um, we are already in Rajasthan and again here, again, the devotees made another set of Pratibhu deities of Radha Govinda. And of course in Jaipur, what can we say? Radha Govinda is there. Um, how can we... Uh, and oh, the Goswamis of Vrindavan will always say, so when are you returning our deities? Uh, and Jaipur says, never. <laughs> or, or something like, just now coming. <laughs> Which is a polite way of saying the same. Because um, now, these devotees there, they are worshipping Radha and Govinda, now in Jaipur. And Vrindavan is manifesting there, in Jaipur. How many times we went there for darshan and completely transcendental there is the worship of Radha Govinda. And there are thousands of devotees who are very enthusiastically worshipping and they give everything to their deity. One time I was there in the Radha Govinda temple and there was an old lady and she comes to me and she starts pulling my clothes. So I say, hey, Sanyasi, hey, hey, <laughs> some lady is pulling my clothes. Then she pulls again. I say, what do you want? Money? I go like, you know, this is the temple, is this is a place to ask for money. Then she gives me these little binoculars. Yeah. So I take them, I get the darshan of Govindaji close up, and I saw that Govindaji was wearing a watch. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone must have, if in India you don't have a watch, you are nobody. At least now it must be cell phone, but before, if you didn't have a watch, 
You didn't count. You were <laughs> nobody. So Gobindaji had to have a watch also. Huh? Huh? Now Gopinath also. And then it started. It started Gopinaji and then Gopinaji had a watch. And Gopinath no watch? What is going on? So now Gopinath also has a watch. Just see. So such things are going on where the devotees just try to give the Lord everything so that nothing, nothing is lacking in his comfort. Because they're afraid in Jaipur, they know, you know, that if we neglect him, he'll go back to Vrindavan. <laughs> and we are waiting in Vrindavan. Oh yes, we are, definitely, when we get the chance. And Obindaji will go back to Vrindavan. But for now, still in Jaipur. And, and they worship him nicely. And very much the mood of Mahaprabhu went with the deities to Rajasthan. Because that mood of Mahaprabhu, of distributing the mercy everywhere, that you find also in the temple of Govindaji and Jaipur. Uh, there, the people, they are distributing. They will get Mahaprasadam, they are not hiding it under their cloth. Run out of temple and then eat it themselves. No, they will, they get, they all distribute, they distribute. And when the, it's like, when the water is distributed, it's not little water from the altar, it's not little water, it's <laughs> lots of, lots of, because there should be lots of mercy. So that spirit comes with Sri Sri Radha Govinda, because these were the deities in the center of all the Prema Bhaktas that were the followers of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. All those who along with the Goswamis, with Rupa Goswami, Sanatan Goswami, and all the other Goswamis resided in Vrindavan. Here we are therefore also remembering Sisi Radha Govinda. <coughs> Maharaj said he will chant some prayers to Vrinda Devi. So Maharaj is very expert at prayers. No, no, he is. He knows. He has memorized all these prayers and sings the suitable prayers. Maharaj has also organized his chanting of Gopi Gita every night. <laughs> and so on. I am a simple man. I only know Hare Krishna. <laughs> so Maharaj has promised me that he will chant that. Acha, <clears> acha, <throat> those prayers you want to chant. Okay, okay. That I will. He likes to argue with me. It was always like that. <laughs> Even when I was temple president, he was Sankirtan leader. He would argue with me also. <laughs> but in a sweet way, you know. <laughs> I want to do. Uh, Anyway, so we are here in, we are here at home in our places. Huh? Srila Prabhupada would say huh, that Vrindavan is, is my home, Mahapur my place of worship, Vrindavan, uh, Bombay my office. Um, and this is the home of Krishna. It is the home of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is not different from Krishna, and who brings this entire transcendental ecstasy of Vrindavan with great force to the entire world. Oh, all was so covered, and with time it became more covered. Again and again, Vrindavan becomes covered. Oh. At the time, when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when the Goswamis first arrived in Vrindavan, yeah, all was forgotten. Huh? All play pastime places, something was known to the villagers, but it was not commonly known. So many deities 
installed by Krishna's grandson Vajshanava were forgotten. The Vrindavan was overgrown with forest. It said that at the time of the Goswamis there were so many deers in the forest, so many. Um, the jungly guy, even now, you will see um, he's, it's a, some type of antelope, they say, but they are like, like big deers, uh, like, like uh, very, they can run very swift, and they are found. The Neil guy, the blue cow, they're found in this Vrindavan area. Um, and they are free spirits because it's, if you cannot keep them in captivity. When you try and capture them, they, they cannot live in captivity. So I identify with them. I'm also like that. <laughs> if you try to look. And Maharaj is also, that is why he's my friend. <laughs> Maybe we are Neil Gaiman. Possibly so. Who knows? Whatever may be. Here in this place, we are thinking about the pastimes of Krishna. We're thinking how Sudevi is dedicating her life completely, completely in the, to assist Sri Mataradharani to somehow or other um, help Sri Mataradharani to attract Krishna to somehow or other capture the mind of Krishna. And as such, she is fully dedicated to such service and all the Astasakis are. And this is also our moment. Um, therefore, of course, here we are looking at Brenda Devi who organizes the pastimes of Krishna. We are looking at Sudevi what, how far can we see? Huh? We are seeing very much Srila Prabhupada as the person whom we are serving. We are serving him. Can we serve Sudevi directly? Can we serve? No, we serve Srila Prabhupada who is serving his spiritual master who is serving Siddha Bhakti Vinod Thakur, who is serving uh, other Acharyas. In this way we are serving. Uh, we are serving. So, somehow or other, we came. I always say, I came to Vrindavan, somehow or other, uh, through that Prabhupada gate, as I came to Vrindavan, first time, I came to that gate. So, this is very significant. We come to, we came to Vrindavan through the Prabhupada gate, somehow or other. Different people came to Vrindavan in different ways, like Maharaj was explaining how the people in that village um, are extremely fortunate and extremely exalted. What? Krita Punya Punya What? Pious activities have they performed? Um, as it said about the coward boys, Krita Punya Punya What? Pious activities have these coward boys performed that they can be actually devotees in associate with Krishna, play with him, childish plays, but what is behind that? What service have they done that they attain that? Now they are imitating animals and this, that, but Krita Punya what is behind it? That what have they done in, in so many previous lives that now, what service have they done that they became like that? So these residents of Sonira, of the Dham, what have they done? These Pujaris, what have they done? Huh? Another deity from Vrindavan that left, Vrindavan is Madan Mohan. And in, now in Karoli, first went to Jaipur, later to Karoli. And I went to Karoli, and it was very nice one time, and the Pujari was so nice to me. 
And then they offered me the prasad and food, bread, everything. Very nice. And then at the end, I said to this Pajari, I said, you are so fortunate. I said, you know, in the whole world, Kaliyu Chaluna, in the whole world, Kaliyu is going on with great force. But you are so fortunate to be in such a holy place here. Ye mandir mein, udar us mandir mein, in this temple, in Karori, in that mandir. That is, Vrindavan went with the deities, it is completely transcendental. When the day we arranged that, everything was there. So I said to this Pujari, you are so fortunate, said, you don't know how bad it is out there, Kaliyu. We know that, that was saying. And then he said, ah, Kaliyu. He said, yeah, there are a thousand Kaliyuks in the day of Brahma. What is Kaliyu? It's just a short moment in the day of Brahma. Comes and goes. So he had a bigger vision, I could see. He had a very transcendental vision. This Pujari was not unaware of Kaliyu. He knew about Kaliyu, but he didn't care about Kaliyu because he could see how small is Kaliyu. And don't we have it also? Sometimes we get into the Kaliyu Katana mode. You know, oh Kaliyu, it's so bad. Kaliyu, oh now Kaliyu, oh oh oh, Kaliyu Kaliyu, Kali Kali Yug Yug, huh? Sometimes we are just chanting Kaliyu, but the truth is uh, that actually uh, Kaliyu is insignificant in places where there is Krishna, because Kali is simply another agent, an assistant of Maya, uh, and Krishna Surya Sam Maya Yamaka to Krishna Tam Nai. Maya Adhika. Wherever there is Krishna, Krishna is like the sun, Maya is like darkness. So wherever there is Krishna, there is no Maya. So that is why we come to such places, um, to penetrate a little deeper. Of course we are coming here as servants of Srila Prabhupada. And he connects with all these eternal associates. Um, when we try to go directly to the eternal associates, we will find that no adhikar, we are blocked. We will find that sooner or later, we'll be blocked. But somehow or other, Prabhupada, um, Prabhupada is our connection. And he is at home in Vrindavan, he said. So, in this way, we are also at home in Vrindavan. Very much so. Um, yes, some people may feel, oh, this place, little austere, this, no, no, this is home, this, we are home now. This is not austere, this is not, we are at home. Because this is Krishna's home. Where else to be at home? This is Krishna's home. Even Delhi, at least Hastinapur is closed, that's when Guru Gram is just, nowadays called Prakaun. So there is something. Um, but many other places, Krishna is far away. Um, so we are so, it is very, very fortunate to come to such places where Krishna is at home and let us Same style. <laughs> Yes. So then uh, we'll ask Vaishnav Maharaj to, uh, to lead us in, in the daily prayers and many other things he will tell us. So can I have a pronoun to Vrindadavi? We used to have a little money for the new tool. Nindaye to the city, be Yai Keshavasata, Shishunati, Pradi Devi, Satyamati, Mamona. Nindaye to the city, be Yai Keshavasata, Shishunati, Pradi Devi, Satyamati.
within him. So, Vishakha, she sent one of her medals to Manjari to go and see what is going on. So, she was going, she saw one of the medals of Dhanta of Chandravali, Sabya. So, he was asking, I was searching the other hand, he was waiting. Krishna is there in Chandra school, Chandravali school? Really? So, so, that one did come and give information that Krishna is right there. So, Vishakha Devi went and gave message to Radharani. And Krishna came and but he was there. So, then we came so upset, so upset. He said, forget. If he doesn't want to come to me, okay, forget. So, then throw out all this decoration and bring things in. I don't want to see him, please take out this. I don't want to see the black cloud, anything black, I don't want to see him. Take out everything. So she became very, very upset and said, even if she, even if he comes, Krishna, then please don't allow him to come. Don't allow him. Sit right up. And by seeing this position of Radharani, the principal Sakhi, Lalita Anastika, they become also very, very upset. So Krishna is so cheated. He agreement, agreed, the program was finalized. He didn't come. He came and he was there. He didn't come. He became very upset. Somehow or other, that Sabya, he went and told to Chandra that I met there Sakhi and I told that Krishna is here. Krishna is here. Really? So he saw it is already so late. So Krishna started immediately running from there. Running and learn what to do. Come and it's already so late. And when the Tadarita and Visakha and the gate, they are very, very upset. Krishna comes, please allow me. They straight out said, no, 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 she doesn't want to see you. Get out from here. So Krishna begged, please allow me, please. I know she is very upset, but if I go, then make her happy. Please allow me, please. Krishna begged like anything, but Lalita is a little bit strong and Krishna and they chastise heavily and she got out from here. Radha told us she doesn't, she doesn't want to see anything black in what to you. Krishna, kya si jiya, nose, please, excuse me, no, forget it. So Krishna became very unhappy and his mind gone. So he went, he said, what is the image of my life? He said, everything in the program failed. She is so upset, I can't meet her. So he went to the Jamuna Pulit, the soul of Gang of Jamuna. And there he was thinking about Radharani's anger and said, how to pacify, there is no way. And Krishna became very uh, upset and started crying. And crying, he was rolling on the sand of Jamuna, piteously crying. Purnama says, Sir, he is the Supreme Lord, he is becoming so unhappy. So, she went immediately, sent me to Brinda, go and take care. So, Brinda Devi came to Bank of Jamuna and see this condition of Krishna. And then said, But this is the thing, so how can, can you help me? I can. I can have any meeting, but you have to follow me, you have to strictly follow me. Whatever I say, you have to agree with that. No problem. Whatever you say, and please ask me something. Is it possible? Yes. Today only I can do it. But first you have to agree, you have to follow strictly what I say. Yes, yes, I'm Please tell me. Please tell me. I am ready to do whatever you say. So then, when I will tell, okay, first thing, you most dearest, that fruit, you have to throw it in the jungle. Don't keep it. That is Baba. This is the only thing I have. Mohan <laughs> Vansi. I am enchanting the, everybody through this only. No, no, no. You throw that, you have to meet. Then, okay, with so much uh, upset and so much. Krishna throw it in the jungle. So now, whatever, Anaman Shiva, take out everything. All uh, goes to an enemy and this Mali and all these ornaments through to Jamuna also. All your garments, all your ornaments through also. Finally, you have to save your that black curling hair also. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
CRN ke baba and they <laughs> they come there and Krishna got shaved shaved head then I am giving you tilak for this club all the Kundra and all that I am giving this Afan club for this Afan club and uh, gave him sannyas that is now we are Vairagi so tilak and everything Vairagi best and then I am giving this mantra you chant this mantra and go I will begin now and then and I am teaching, if somebody will come to see you, you can tell that you are only asking for love of God and you don't want anything. And uh, if somebody asks, you, you know about palmistry, then you can tell that you know that also. So, Vrindadu also gives some lessons to Krishna. So, Krishna gets trained down by Vrindadu. Then, fully in uh, that decoration, makeup, as a sannyasi, new sannyasi, shaved head and Saffron cloth and bright tila. And Babaji, uh, he went with that particular mantra he was chanting. Then he was going through the same lane. Radhani was upset. And when Krishna came out and Radhani found out that Krishna came and he left, so Radhani was crying like anything. Why I did like this? He is my, after all, he is my master, he is my owner. He has all right to do anything with me. How come I become so cruel? Why you feel like that? But she was repenting like anything and crying. And the Lalita was saying, you only told us to throw him out. Oh, we did that. <laughs> I know, no, no, no. Why you feel like that? Rather he was repenting like anything and crying and crying on his nails, drawing some lines on the ground and crying like anything. And Lalita Vaisak also became very upset. See, she also we can see angry now she is repenting. Now where will you find Krishna? He left. So somehow the new sannyasi was coming with that chanting that mantra. So Lalita Vaisa and the gate, they are very upset. What to do now? Our Sakhi is very in a piteous condition. So they serve that sannyasi, they invited him. So what do you do? No, I just begging I mean sannyasi mendicant. You know palmistry also? I'm an expert in PhD in astrology. Yes. Now can you forecast it? Of course, why not? Hmm? So how? If somebody has horoscope, I can calculate. If he doesn't have horoscope, then I can see the palm also, read the palm and tell the future. What will happen? So then Lanka is a thought, maybe our Sakri Radhana is crying so much. Maybe you can, that sannyasi can help. Then Krishna can wait if something can future what will happen or not. So they invite. And so we have a sakhi. She is very upset, crying. Can you predict what, when her desire will get? <coughs> of course, I can. I can. So then they invite that sannyasi, Barala, the Putana, the Sasan, to sit here. So they went inside, tell her that the bright sannyasi is there. So, he is expert in astronomy, she can see your palm and read and tell you when you can meet Krishna. Radhan told, that's okay, but how I can see somebody? My promise is that I can see only Krishna, except Krishna I can't see. I can't see any other person. I can't see. No, 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 he is the non person, no problem. No problem, you just... So somehow or other, Lalita and Vishakha tried to convince Radhani. She was not agreeing, but somehow or other, forced her to bring her out and they made her set in front of that sannyasi and then they, so now it's a bring your hand, said woman, not right hand, left hand, left hand, so can you see? So then Krishna, I am a renounced person, how can I catch some woman's hand? No, not possible, no. It's not possible for me. I can't. And then, you know, I the, how can I read? We don't have Varasku. Excuse me, I can't. Oh, please, please, now. Oh, this is my dharma, Baba. How can you do like that? How can you catch all that? Already I'm here, you two ladies, another lady is there. How can I? Oh, no, please. Is there any alternative? Oh, yes, one alternative is there. I can touch her. But one alternative is there. What? 
I am also expert in reading the forehead. If I can touch the hand, I can see from distance, I can see the forehead, I can read also. I can predict. It's okay. So then she has to take the breath. Well, well, well. Rather, I promise that she will never take it out because she never wants to see any other person except Krishna. So they forced the answer, no, no, never. I will go back. I will suffer, but I can't see anybody. So then Krishna and the sannyasi said, I am not a person, I am a sannyasi. I am a renounced person. Why you are considering me as something person like that? I am a saffron cloth. <laughs> Why you are considering me? So Krishna tried to convince and Lalita Vishak also convinced the Samaradha took the veil off. So Radharani saw directly to me. Then she saw directly Krishna saw that Krishna's makeup went away. <laughs> His color went up, everything went away. Then Radhani says, this sannyasi is <laughs> not different than Krishna. And Lalita Visaka is saying, what happened to him? <laughs> he got changed. <laughs> so like that, Vrindadavi used to arrange such kind of meeting. And so that Krishna, when he was suffering and living and crying, for Radharani. So Vrindadavi uh, made Krishna to become Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That is Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He became in this wife, Krishna, to meet Radharani. He became sannyasi. <laughs> so like that, many, many intense past times, so Vrindadavi is super planner. She used to make plan how, where, and when, and we can meet Radharani Krishna like that. So, like that, Mundadavi was one of the main uh, coordinator of Radha Krishna's pastime. So that's why Mundadavi is so dear to Krishna and Radha Krishna, so dear. So if we want to take any kind of blessing from Krishna, then we have to approach to Mundadavi. Even if we want to offer anything to Krishna, we have to take some from Mundadavi. Without Vrinda, without Vrindasi, Krishna will not accept anything. That's why also we want to offer ourselves. We are putting this Tulsi Nagri, that means we are offered ourselves. If somebody is not wearing Tulsi Nagri, he is not offered. <laughs> That's why even Jamaraj, if he saw somebody's neck, Tulsi Nagri, he is offered to Krishna, he is Krishna Prasad. I have no right to do <laughs> that. He immediately put the delete button in his <laughs> record, in his computer, and he is gone from my record. <laughs> So like that, Vrindadavi is the dearmost uh, servant of uh, Krishna and uh, not only Krishna, she is the main chief coordinator and organizer of pastimes for Adhan Krishna in Vrindavan. Even now, she is in Vrindavan. Though her original temple was there in Vrindavan, near uh, Radha Govinda Mandir, and our Goswami Rupa Goswami and they, they worship there. The same original Viti, 500 years old, Bajarnav established that Viti, Rupa Goswami got it again, and they were sitting there in Vrindavan. But when Jaipur king was taking all these duties to Jaipur, she came with them to this point, this is the Bada, then Vrindavan Bada, then go to Rasta. She didn't, didn't go. She told, no, I come with you this time, and from here I can go. So she is the original Viti in Vrindavan, she is here. So in the whole class, original Vrindavan is Viti, you can see here in Kamala English with Radha Govind, she is there. So we are, we are all fortunate, at least you come to Vrindavan, come one and see Vrindavan is Viti. So now we can move towards Vibhankund, there are also a lot of things to Say and if Maharaj Allah then I can take back to him. I don't know. Again, if you Hare Krishna. And then if you want, then I don't know. Bhajan Thaliya, we must have a part of Maharaj Allah. Otherwise, at least you can go to Vimalkun. Lot of pastimes there are in Vimalkun. Vimalkun is one of the main pilgrimage of Kamibhan. Yeah. Hare Krishna.